Hello, all. welcome to Sivan CSE PhD training. In this recording, I would like to discuss about the interview questions on RICEFs during your interviews. So, what is meant by RICEFs or have you worked on RICEFs objects? This is the interview question often you face. So, how to explain where exactly you are standing on the RICEFs and what exactly RICEF means? RICEF means W means workflow, R means reports, I means interfaces. C means conversions and E means enhancements, F means forms or smart forms. Out of these six forms, where whatever may be the uh, object, where whenever you're working on that, that is called a rise of object. It will be normally uh, identified during the implementation processes of the business blueprint phase, the business and the client, they sit together and then they will identify. So these ones, you must be aware of it and then you must explain any one of them. You no need to explain all six. You can at least explain the standard functionalities, whatever is there in SAP and then which is not uh, able to give the complete solution to the customer. So that, that's why we are going to customize it. That means we are going to alter the standard program or functionality with the help of technical teams. This is what called RICEFs. So we will see complete information on this. What is RICEF or have you worked on RICEF objects? So as I, I already explained during the implementation, like uh, during the project preparation, business blueprint, realization, final preparation and go live and support. Here we will identify during the realization phase. So where exactly the gaps are there? Gap means fit gap analysis where SAP doesn't fit the standard SAP doesn't fit the client's requirement. There, we need to enhance the program. So we need to explain completely what exactly the standard program does and then what exactly your requirement is there, where exactly we need to make the change to achieve your requirement. That is what happens in the rise of objects. So the, the most important interview question is, have you worked on rise of objects? Please say yes and then whatever the enhancement which you have worked on or whatever the report customized or standard report which you have worked on and whatever the uh, workflows you have worked on and the enhancements like user exits and uh, uh, other uh, standard functionalities and the forms as well as the smart forms like uh, outputs, designing, designment of the outputs. Whatever you have worked on, confidently try to explain them. The most important thing is you need to explain always the standard user exits only. Please don't try to explain always on the customized ones. For example, the sales order reports, VA05. So when VA05 is there or VA05N is there, what exactly have altered that particular program using the technical consultant's help. Instead, if you give the customized ones, there are so many customizations are there nowadays in each and every client. So try to always explain about the standard user exits and their modifications or functionalities, whatever you have done, what is the user requirement, what you have done with the help of technical team, how you have prepared the functional specification documents with respect to the business requirement document and how the technical consultant has completed his technical specification document. Only these three things has to come into the picture while explaining the RISEF objects. Have you worked on workflow objects? Workflow is the flowing of transactional data from one level to another level in a sequence as per the organizational hierarchy. At every level, one or more actions are required. Once taken, the workflow advances to the next level. That means workflow objects are defined with the help of technical teams, that is ABAP teams. Example for, uh, we can, if you take an end user wants to create a say, credit memo request for more than a lakh, this will trigger the workflow object in the form of e an email notification to the manager, that is immediate to his manager, to his manager. Then upon his approval, that is the first approval, it will go to the next level. 
that is up to him whether he wants to approve it or not when it when the email notification he receives it is not mandatory that he has to approve it he will see everything the credit history of the customer whether he has to approve it or not so assume that if he has approved it then it will go to the next level because it is a, a lack maybe inr or usd or euros or gbp whatever it is and then second approval your his senior manager it will go and then if he approves it then it will be approved that is what the workflow objects always takes place we need to always remember that these workflow objects are always important things which we need to explain during our interview processes the next one have you worked on reports nowadays reports are nothing but standard reports and the one it is the combination of standard and customized ones so if you are if you have worked on it, complex customized reports then try to explain them during your interview process otherwise if you have done any customization to the existing reports then try to explain that report to your interview that is what normally you need to do it a report in sap is a standard or custom transaction that is built up using one or more multiple programs that reads the required information from the database and displays output after report execution based on the input criteria entered on the selection screen of the transaction maybe for example if if a selection screen contains only customer material sales document and dates there is no plant information available then they requested us to have the plant and shipping point also then we need to see all the possibilities of the standard program modification that is va05 list of sales orders sd underscore sales underscore orders underscore view in that program is it possible to make a change or not if it is okay then with the help of technical team we will be uh, working with them and then we will be providing the functional specification document accordingly they will make the change into that particular program to work it so we have to do the end to end testing either in development or quality system and then once the client says that yes all the changes are working whatever the changes you have done as per our requirement the report is working fine then only we can move it to the production there are different categories of reports like uh, standard reports customized reports and queries standard reports as i already explained ea05 or ea05n list of sales orders or vl060 outbound delivery monitor vf05 list of billing documents vf04 billing due list so these are all the standard reports which are already available there are more number of standard sap reports are available and nowadays majority of the clients looking towards only the utilization of the only the standard reports so try to give them the appropriate explanation if you have customized the standard report then explain them what is the requirement and how you have done what is the logic you have provided please remember that majority of the people they are not providing the logic whenever you are attending the interview you must be aware of the logic also and then try to explain the same during your interview process customized reports developed by the project team taking standard sap reports as a reference queries like we can generate our own report by using standard sap tables one more interview question like have you worked on interfaces this is the most frequently asked interview question interfaces means talking to the third party system through sap like idocs if you see this diagram the sap system sap document which will be exchanged between middleware or pipo and then it will go to the target system and again it will acknowledge through the target system to the middleware and middleware to the sap system see whether they have received or not number 1 whether if they have received it whether they have acknowledged it or not and what kind of issues they have faced through the interface only they will communicate they will not call them or they will not mail them 
only through the interface, the entire communication takes place. That is what the exchange of data happens between two systems, such as SAP to SAP or SAP to non-SAP and non-SAP to SAP. The standard SAP has ALEI docs and EDI docs. We all know that in our previous recording also we have seen ALEI docs are nothing but the um, the data IDOC docs are exchanged between the same SAP to SAP systems and EDI docs are nothing but SAP to SAP and SAP to non-SAP systems. The interfaces, for example, like nowadays, extensively used interfaces are like MuleSoft, Salesforce, Dotnet Web Services, uh, DevOps, Logic Apps, Power Apps, BitchTalk. There are so many interfaces have come into the market now. So all those interfaces are now are going to be replaced with SAP B2B or SAP CPI, Cloud Platform Integrations. So that is what happening. SAP wants to bring all, all the interfaces, replace all the re interfaces to SAP CPI. That is what is now happening. So that is more cost effective. And then the customer no need to invest more amount on these interfaces. That is what interfaces are required. The role of SD consultant, we need to perform all the test cases. We need to perform the end-to-end -end testing whatever the object is triggered in SAP system, whether it is reaching to the target system exactly or not, or whether we are receiving the information from the external system towards SAP system, how it is working, how frequently they are processing. All those things, we need to analyze them and then we need to explain them during your interview processes. They will ask you definitely. Nowadays, mandatory question is like, uh, have you worked on any interfaces? Please explain them always about the IDOCs because it is there already in the standard systems. If at all is, it is external system, please in, in a, explain about the role of yours is like the testing support. You, might, you have provided the testing support, they have triggered the IDOC or, or the object and then we have cross-checked in the SAP system whether the data has been automatically updated or not or properly updated or not. That is from external to internal system, SAP system. And from SAP to external system, how it has gone. All those things you can imagine and then you can explain them. And before going to attend the interview, prepare yourself in your mind that definitely there will be a question. And if the question raises on interfaces, how you need to explain. So please remember this diagram, how it communicates with the uh, SAP to non-SAP system on what is the middleware. These middlewares are now replaced with SAP CPI. Is going to be replaced with SAP CPI. Next interview question is, have you worked on any upgrade projects like system conversions or landscape transformations? When the answer is, when the SAP is implemented or upgraded, the business will close all its legacy systems. Thus, their business live data needs to be uploaded under the SAP system. To upload the data such as a material master, business partner, and open sales orders or purchase orders, etc., the data needs to be converted to the SAP readable file format. This is called a conversion. SAP has multiple tools like BDC, LSMW, in ECC and S4 HANA, and LTMC is the one latest one which is being widely used in S4 HANA systems. There is no uh, widely used BDC or LSMWs because LTMC itself provides everything and in S4 HANA system to upload the data into the SAP systems. For example, upgrading from ECC EHP 5 to 6 or 7 to EHP 10 or the versions like uh, um, S4 HANA SD sales from 17.09 to some of the clients they will be having 17.09 versions and they wanted to migrate from 2020, 19, 2020 or 9, 2020 are like that, there will be an upgrades. So based on those upgrades, whether the clients wants to upgrade at a time, instead skipping the other upgrades and then directly from EHP 5 to EHP 10, directly they wanted to upgrade, they, they can, that also is possible. So this is called upgrade projects. Nowadays it is happening widely. You can have an idea on it 
lot of information is available on Google. Try to get that information, note it down all the points from this recording as well as the Google, and then try to explain the same during your interview processes. Another interview question is, have you worked on enhancements? This is the most important interview question again. When the business requirement does not meet the standard business processes, then the project team recommends some custom functionalities by modifying the SAP standard programs or user exits. That is what we already discussed. With the help of technical teams like ABAP, always it should be technical team that is ABAP team. So we need to guide them. We need to lead them by providing the appropriate logics about the requirement and then we need to test it thoroughly and then guide them exclusively because they will only write the code. They won't be knowing about the business processes. Only you are the owner of the business processes and you will be able to explain the business processes. Please remember that one. You have to always help the ABAP consultants to provide them the appropriate like logics so that they will be able to write the code and then they will be able to complete the code. They will give you the exact um, completed program so that you can test it. So these are called the enhancements. These enhancements are modified or developed by the ABAP consultants making use of bodies, enhancement frameworks and user exits like sales order user exit like ME45 AFZZ, ME45 AFZA, ME45 AFZV, ME50 AFZZ. Like that, these are the examples. The functional consultant needs to prepare the functional specs and lead the development of the object field, its production deployment. You are the owner. Always remember the functional consultant is the owner of the enhancement or a pro project or a smart form or user exit, whatever it is. He has to take the ownership and then he has to lead it. Please remember that one. Have you worked on smart forms or any customized output layouts? So this is very simple. This is normally, it's a totally customized ones. It is not the standard one. It is totally customized ones. You can explain whatever you have worked on. It's are like print outputs generated from the SAP application. And then few examples are like sales order confirmation will be sent to the sold to party. Delivery confirmation will be sent to the ship to party and billing document confirmation will be sent to the bill to party or payer. Standard SAP has a predefined format and template for all these forms, but these predefined forms may not be meeting business requirements as they may like to add a company's logo or print legal text on the forms. This requires the functional team to work with ABAP and develop custom forms as per the business requirement. They use directly transaction code as smart forms to maintain the smart forms. Now there is no scripts available in ECC or S4 HANA systems. And one more important portion here to all of you that now C1's SAP SD training is no longer associated with AMB IT Services and Technologies, which is located in Nijampet, Hyderabad. Please reach out to me for any kind of training related or placement related or job related, or you wanted to switch to from one uh, software technology to another technology, any kind of information, please reach out directly to my mobile number 812332087. Please do not reach out to AMB IT Services and Technologies in, in, in such cases. Thank you all. Have a nice day.